of these songs are worth writing Not all of these words are worth talking about I must confess I saw you undressed Through a sticky eyelid in a half dark If they couldn't make a painting of you then and if I could write a song about that painting, then I declare that all of these graceful things would all lose their graces. Your face didn't used to look like that. It's been changed and rearranged and contorted by the sorrows of the world. Change you like to change your heart. I said thanks for whatever that was. Our sound comes a lot from the instruments that we play, the fact that we play a vibraphone and a cello and back it up with a drum set leads to, leads to the music that we create and our dissatisfaction with, um, or at least speaking for myself, my own dissatisfaction with the classical music world and wanting to play with different techniques and make really different sounds inevitably leads to making unique music and um, I think it's the same way with you with the vibes I think yeah I and mean, there's definitely things that happen on the vibraphone all the time that are like really cheesy and I was like I don't like that like kind of when I was in college learning to even play these instruments I never thought the vibraphone was that cool <laughs> and it's like, yeah, it's really corny. Yeah. N no. And then I, I don't know, I realized you can do all sorts of weird stuff on it. And if you don't play like a dork, it sounds really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. And that, a common theme for all of us is just sort of like your instrument, can, you can do so much with it. Why limit yourself to yeah. what you've heard before? <laughs> you yeah. know, it's like, yeah. I mean, with the drums, there's so many things to hit. Yeah, and a lot of a lot of songs or at least sections of songs have been written by I want to make this noise with my instrument. Like mm -hmm. I want to make this cacophonous sound mm -hmm. and then we would uh, How oh, do we make that musical? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then um, songs grow out of that. Yeah. I used to like steal a quote 
from Tom Morello. It's just like a yeah. complete disregard for the tradition of our instruments. Yeah. And of still trying to not make people run away when they hear it initially. Yeah. Well, not yeah. complete disregard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's um and then it's funny to see people's reaction to our music and we base our the music that we write a lot on the gigs we've played at bars and the experiences that we've had with mm -hmm. playing really weird music for people and having them hate it for the first two songs and then be the people who are like cheering the loudest at the end of the show. Yeah, that's which is definitely happened on more than one occasion and where so soccer moms <laughs> soon become our <laughs> number one fan base. So we're, yeah. we're, yeah, I mean, we're continually surprised that people like what we're doing yeah. <laughs> because we're not really sacrificing much. You know, we're really doing what we want to do. Yeah. And um, it comes across as accessible, which is great. Yeah. yeah. I think a lot of it is because we're having fun, you know, and because yeah. we really do believe in what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. The more we enjoy ourselves, the more people seem to yeah. get excited about it. So that's what we've kept on doing yeah. since the band started. I think like anyone that's come to a live show and like seen how self-aware we are of like how weird it is and like I always <laughs> like make the most outrageous comment on stage. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, so it's kind of like probably the best thing you've ever seen. Like <laughs> you're not going to be able to go to sleep tonight is yeah. what I'm trying to say. We've and it's okay, and just, yeah, I don't know. We've oh, it just got really sexy all of a sudden. <laughs> We've Make had a sure lot that stays in. <laughs> We've had a lot of funny experiences with playing with different bands, like um, playing with bands that are a lot more experimental and in the jazz world than us, and playing with rock bands and folk bands. And we're not really, we're kind of in this purgatory of sound where we, don't, mm -hmm. we can kind of gel with any one of those, but our experiences with more conservatory jazz folk has soured us on more than one occasion. Yeah. We played with bands that were not like, they didn't really want to be playing a show. Yeah. And we're like, yeah, we, you guys sounded awesome. Can we book another gig with you? And they're like, well, we don't really like yeah. to play gigs. And, yeah. <laughs> and that attitude yeah, sat so poorly with us that uh, like, there was a running joke on stage that, um, uh, that people would not look at us while we were playing a certain <laughs> song because it was too ryth rhythmically yeah. complex that, that we had degrees and so anyone yeah. with a lower musical education should divert yeah. their attention elsewhere and um, so that was like the Sometimes the people don't get the joke. Yeah. <laughs> Which is the, it goes like, across paths. Yeah, a nightmare <laughs> situation. This is the situation where it's yeah. a joke everyone. Yeah. It's it's we're like too good at sarcasm. Officially yeah. saying. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay to laugh. We're actually not deep as. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we are. We need a laugh button or like a cue, like an applause and a laugh. Yeah. Lights. Yeah. That'd be good. We diffuse the weirdness with comedy, but the comedy is equally as weird, so I don't know what's happening. <laughs>
now clad in jeans and mysticism deliverer a down of wisdom polyester plans are shaking and trembling but the fool Being a band now in this day and age is really interesting because merch is almost the only thing that you live on on the road. Uh, We're so definitely shirt salesmen. Yeah. Shirt, shirt salesmen yeah. first. Shirt salesmen first, musicians second yeah. on tour. Because uh, <laughs> nobody buys music anymore, yeah. except when they're at a show and yeah. they're really excited to have just seen you play. And Which then, is awesome. And they're like, yeah, we'll pay $10 for your CD. Yeah. And then they, even if they go home and just listen to us on Spotify for the rest of their lives yeah. and never even open it, it's like people are still willing to buy it yeah. because they're having the experience. Yeah, and that like can people only, are willing to show their support yeah. like financially. It's not so much about the thing anymore, yeah. but the, uh, like, yeah. we want to support what you're doing. Yeah. Which is really cool. So that's... That's how we, that's how we make a living when we do yeah. on the road and things like that, uh, because the music industry is just such a crazy, weird place to navigate now. There's no rules. There's, there are no rules, and you just have to be self-sufficient any way you can. I think that's. Yeah, I think maybe that's part of why people like us. There are no rules, but still, there's a lot of people just like fitting themselves into these tropes that have been around forever. Yeah. And at least I like to hope that people, they don't know what they want until they see it. So like maybe that's what we're offering is like this thing that makes a lot of sense, 
but it seems like it doesn't because you've like yeah. no one's taken the time to think about it before including ourselves it was mostly just like when we started uh it's a lot of me awkwardly going up to matt and being like you want to be in a band with <laughs> I wasn't sure exactly what you were asking me. Yeah, was you're, like, you're like, I, I want to, I want somebody to play cello on this thing because it goes like this. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I can do that. Yeah. And then by the end of. And then we were like, yeah, it's a nine eight, and then yeah. seven eight, and then yeah. but only the third time, and then this. And yeah. It's like, oh god, what did I get and myself into? We did not play it cool the first <laughs> rehearsal. Too like, excited. It's me and Too Susan. Too many odd yeah. meters. Like, yeah. Me and Susan <laughs> had been playing together for a while before. Uh, we found Matt and we were just like yeah like this would be so cool with a third person but not a bass yeah and luckily <laughs> yeah. luckily I had played the drums before the cello so I didn't have the classic inane sense of rhythm that comes with being a, a string player yeah. raised on classical music so that was a good thing to avoid yeah. when coming to this group um, to have avoided yeah, it's been good. Like we both, we fit together in this weird power triangle where me and Matt both like have studied classical music a lot. Like in college, I spent all my time playing timpani and thinking the vibraphone was stupid. And then <laughs> I don't know, I got really weirded out in grad school, and it all started changing. So like me and Matt have like that super strong classical connection and then by virtue of just being drummers that are obsessed with rhythm like Susan and I had this really like tightly locking thing so it's like and then we all sort of like yeah. grew up listening to rock and yeah yeah so there's definitely I mean it all comes through you know you can hear it in yeah. there yeah we're still a band sure. in America yeah so playing in bars. Yeah. So there's the... Uh, the Bruce Springsteen But our, our sound, I mean, you, you can hear the classical music. Like, yeah. like the influence is like, even though it might seem like we're going crazy and doing all this stuff, which we are, it's but like, this is it's Shasta actually COVID. really planned. Yeah. <laughs> it's, We've actually thought out this can, very yeah. carefully. Yeah. Yeah. Planned <laughs> plan chaos most of the time. Which is like, I feel yeah. like I just ruined the magic maybe, but, you know. Don't tell <laughs> anyone. No. no one needs to know how the sausages are made. Yeah.
Uh, I think one of the things that uh, we all really like about this band is that the idea of collaborating with people outside the musical world is really, really exciting to us. You know, that thing, but like any band, we want to play like big festivals where there's a lot of people and there's just like the energy of being in bigger and better places all the time is yeah. where we want to go and making really cool art with yeah. other people. If yeah. I could say that any more, caveman, <laughs> me want cool art. <laughs> We've been, yeah, moving forward with some <laughs> collaborations with visual art, with video art. Um, a yeah. lot of a lot of visual artists reach out to us more than any other band I've been in. Mm -hmm. They find something. There's something that artists like about our sound, <laughs> particularly, and they want to express it visually, which is fun. We also uh, wanted to incorporate dance somehow. We've talked about doing a project with dancers. Yeah, we have a dream um, in the <laughs> works of creating a How to Dance to Human Ottoman video. Yeah, we're also... So keep an eye out for it. It's coming slowly, and it will be fun E. We're also, <laughs> we're also <laughs> writing new songs, obviously, and there will be a new album yeah. happening. It's, it'll be in the works yeah, soon. Just Constantly mm. growing, evolving, you know. I mean, yeah. Yeah. If we want to make another album. We have one, yeah. in our first album, and we learned a lot in the process, and yeah. now we want to do it better, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know. So. We always want to tour more. Touring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, band. anything that's related to a band, we want to do it. So. Yeah. <laughs> and beyond. Yeah. And We're beyond. into weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. We have a website on the World Wide Web. Uh, HTTP colon <laughs> slash slash www dot human ottoman dot com. Uh, we that's also have right. a yeah, and we have a human ottoman at gmail dot com. Yeah, that's our Facebook primary contact. Uh, do people still poke? Yeah, yeah because I, I think poking know. would be yeah. primary. Yeah, anybody really that wants to start poking us on Facebook will get a special prize. I don't think that happens anymore. Yeah. I think people stop poking. Yeah. Well, you can find whatever you need on our website. Yeah. It's all there. <laughs> Calendar. Yeah. We're on the store. internet. I wonder if we could make a poke button on our website. Yeah. Secret photos. Yeah. Secret tracks. Secret things will happen. Yeah. But more people have to go to our website. <laughs> you have to be our best friend forever. Join the Ottoman Empire. That's true. <laughs> yes. That's our email list. Yes. But really, though. That's the really ultimate though. goal is to expand the Ottoman Empire to glorious new heights. <laughs> Bigger than the real Ottoman Empire. Yeah, That's people that are already yeah. in our fan base of the Ottoman Empire, uh, they get back to us all the time. There's a lot of correspondence talking about uh, just kind of like how their whole life turned around. We've gotten a few people, like a handful off of meth. There, uh, there are also, what? There I'm not also, sure I get this joke. There yeah. are also rumors of powers gained in the afterlife. Yeah. Well, like the, the sexual Empire. conquests too. Yeah. Like, I don't particularly enjoy reading other people's stories, but no, I'm we happy get, for them. We get we get so many. They yeah. Just, they go into a folder. And we have really we have a it. file. No <laughs> dick pics. This is like a glimpse <laughs> from like <laughs> our normal conversations. Yeah. Now you know why our music the way it is. <laughs> now you know why we're, we yeah. sound weird. It's because we are weird. So that answers the question: What the hell are you doing?
My my background is classical and non-classical, but uh, Grace and I spend a lot of time geeking out over the heaviest possible classical pieces that we can find. All the, the Russians, most, all the the Russians, and the yeah. and um, and trying to extract something from that. And I even I'll play sections of Shostakovich at the end of songs or something, yeah. just as like a it because it fits so well. Almost, I'll, I don't want to. I don't want to reveal any sausage making techniques either. But I'll <laughs> several passages in in several songs are almost stolen from etudes or little snippets of yeah. uh, classical pieces or something. So there's sort of this like meta classical joke yeah. in our music. We love classical well. music, but we don't like classical music behavior. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I guess from <laughs> the, the world. The rebels from yeah. the orchestra. Yeah. These yeah. two. <laughs> yeah. It's a, uh, yeah. We love so many things about jazz and classical, but there's like attitudes. Right. That really, we I guess it is just an attitude yeah. thing. Yeah. I was, uh, it's like yeah, we'd, we'd rather cool. put on a show. Yeah. And a lot of people who play those genres. Are, I don't know why they don't want to put on a show. Yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah, it's something about the academia part of it going to college that gets into people's heads and it like definitely happened to me because I've spent over an hour talking about bass drum mallets to people and like <laughs> how important it is to pull out the right one. Yeah. And then just like completely forgot about the audience. It's like they'll like it just because it is what it is. Yeah, and that's—I don't think that's true. Like, uh, it's an interaction between the audience and us. Yeah, yeah, it's important to make a connection. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess we more than not hate. We were just—you've <laughs> made a huge mistake. I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> There's really just a dissatisfaction with the yeah. artifice of classical and jazz and the way it's been canonized and I feel like we're all really bored with that as musicians. Yeah. That's what led to us yeah. breaking out of those breaking out of those traditions and making yeah. music that was fun.
pasa son a tratar, a tratar a imágenes de los objetivos como si iluminados que otra cosa, otra cosa buscamos sabemos posar un beso como una mirada plantar mirada como árboles en jaula a los bólicos o pájaros regapar homos como litropos y tocar el litropo como una música y paz y a una música como un saco y te escogía saco como en pingüinos no tenían pingüinos como viñedos pero tenían viñedo como una vaca te probaba gallo como un incendio pagar un incendio como en mares Sega mal como trigales, pero si usted trigales como alhajas, pero si usted trabaja con carpúsculos, y vos a carpúsculos como otros corderos, y se dará corderos como sonrisas, y vos te llamas sonrisas como licores, y gasta licores como alhajas, pero si usted trabaja como carpúsculos, te vas a un río como un rey, colga el río como rora, pero te diga un rora como profeta, pesca a un río como un rey, colga el río como rora, pero te diga un rora como profeta, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Us, yeah. breaking out of those, breaking out of those traditions and making yeah. music that was fun, and because it was fun, yeah, by fun, for fun, and of fun. Mm -hmm. So, it's made yeah. of fun. Yeah, it's <laughs> made of fun. It's made of pure fun. Concentrated fun. Fun concentrate. Fun. <laughs> yeah. It's a swirling pit. That's fun. <laughs> that doesn't suck me down it turn the fun yeah. churn the fun 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 <laughs> fun 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 other way yeah. oh don't let oh. it get stuck <laughs> <laughs> all right what else can we talk about <laughs> next question <laughs> <laughs>